Well, in a recent piece for Out Magazine, writer Michael Musto decided to advise readers on, quote, what to do if your friend is a gay Republican. His advice was pretty simple. Cut off that friend totally and permanently because friendship is nothing compared to partisan politics. Musto wrote this, quote, everything in a friendship that might have seemed good suddenly goes sour when I learned they advocate Trump and his hideousness, which involves attempting to diminish rights for women, LGBTQs, Muslims, immigrants, the arts and the non-rich, not to mention all those treasonous sounding doings with Russia. Am I supposed to understand that a gay friend is simply concerned about tax breaks and therefore can't be bothered to devote any energy to little things like human rights? By Felicia. If a real life friend, someone who knows my plight, my accomplishments and my obsessions decides to trumpet in my face the alleged glories of the Republican Party, I simply have to show them the hand and the door. Friendship over. Obviously, it's pretty intolerant of Musto, but also kind of tragic. Friendships with different people is how you become open-minded. It cultivates compassion, sharpens the intellect, produces a lot of new experiences that are interesting and worth having. Rejecting everyone not like you, that's the path to sadness and closed-mindedness and hatred. Not surprisingly, Musto's article is dripping with the kind of hate he says he would condemn. Still, we're willing to bring on even the intolerant onto the show, and we do a lot. So we invited Musto to come on and tell us about his outlook. He refused. Instead, he retreated to every coward's favorite refuge, Twitter. He tweeted this, quote, I got an offer to be on TV, exclamation point, Tucker Carlson show, exclamation point. I didn't get back to them, exclamation point. When someone asked why he didn't come on, he said it was because his words would be twisted if he appeared, since, quote, twisted is the very definition of Fox News. Ooh, clever. Well, it's hard to imagine us twisting your words, Michael Musto, into something dumber than what you actually said. But despite the insult, our offer remains open. Come on anytime. It's always open to anyone who has written something we disagree with, because unlike you, we believe there is benefit to open discussion and confrontation. And we don't think that you should write people off just because they disagree with you, because we're not mindless. Albert Eisenberg serves as a communications director at the Philadelphia Republican Party. He focuses on gay issues. He's a Republican. He joins us now. Uh, so, Albert, did this come as a surprise to you? And by the way, what's this about? I don't, I don't really, I don't really understand it. I don't think if Trump is, and Trump is, was more for gay rights than Obama. Like, what is this? Uh, yeah. Hi, Tucker. Nice to be in the company of like-minded, tolerant folks. Um, I mean, it's about a general foot stomping and intolerance of people who you disagree with that you see all over the progressive movement of the left that has been the sort of movement of the movement since the election because they really can't handle their loss. They'd rather write off half the country as bigoted and intolerant because they really genuinely don't want to listen to people. They want to be scornful of them. You know what distorts everything? The idea that the personal is political, that there's no refuge, there's no, if I can borrow yeah. their term, safe space from ideology maybe like normal people want to retreat from that and like you can have a human relationship with someone maybe even marry and have kids with someone you don't agree with on everything political like they've assaulted that idea you're correct i mean everything from sports center to what you eat has turned exactly. into politics and it's exhausting for people um here's here's what you should do if you have a gay republican friend coming from one you should ask them why they're republican you should listen to them speak and then you should get your turn to speak in turn, and maybe we'll both learn something. I do it with my, my liberal friends all the time. And do any of them unfriend you? You know, I have, it's a great way of filtering out people who are, by the way, the definition of intolerance is, you know, writing people off before you know them because of something you perceive them to be. You know, I'm, I've been yelled at on dates. I've been uh, yelled at by strangers, but it's a great way of weeding out people who are actually extremely closed minded. So, you know, you get a thick skin when you're involved in this, especially somebody who's out who isn't shy about being pro LGBT. Um, so I kind of consider it a favor at this point, although obviously it can be harmful too. Hmm. Would you be willing to be friends with Michael Musto? Um, no, he seems like somebody who probably would want to talk over me and tell me why I'm a bigot and why everything I believe is wrong before he knows anything about any of my political beliefs. So my assumption, based on what he's written, is that, um, here, let's put it this way. I don't want to be friends with somebody who's intolerant. Yeah, that isn't, that doesn't sound like much fun getting lectured. No, he... No. He sounds Albert, kind of not fun at all. Yeah, not too fun. Political people no. are not that fun. Albert, thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks, Tucker.